Okay, this first one is called Joan's Lamentation. I made the rain come. I let loose the dam behind the windows of my eyes and I cried, honey. Moaning, rumbling like thunder in my throat. Choked up with had enough. Storms form in my gut. Shoulders quake and heave. Heart pumps and bleeds. I would fall to my knees in prayer, but I'm at a loss for air. Trying to remain standing by placing my hand on these walls I put around myself. So when the rain comes, I won't drown anybody else. Waiting for the baptism. To be submerged and purged at the same time using these tears of mine. Because holding them back has become too much of a chore that I haven't the strength to maintain anymore. So I open the windows and the doors. Set the time on the dam, took some tissues out the drawer, and cried till my tears dropped to the floor. And cried some more till my eyes were sore. And cried further still till my face was wore. And cried yet again till I couldn't cry anymore. Honey, I cried all the water from the shore. Mm. I cried in a way that I had never cried before. I cried from home all the way down to Ecuador. Till all of the tissues was gone out the store. And once it was over, once the white flag from the bags under my eyes was waved, I prayed. Crawled out from that underwater grave. Shut the windows, locked the door, replaced the dam with the fort. Landmines upon my shores, in my forest and on my floors. Mopped up the water, resurrected the martyr, suited back up and prepared for war. Mm. called um, <clears throat> The Red, White, and Blues While Black. Since we touched ground, been witnessing the slaughter. The murders of our mamas, fathers, sons, and daughters. When I think about it, just kind of makes me wonder. With the state of man, what they're putting in the water. What's going on with them boys in blue when it comes to those bearing the black hue? What are we saying to our black youth? Stand up and rise up or stand down because they'll shoot. Didn't have to see it on no series of roots or listen to Billy sang about the pain of strange fruit to know that from the gate we were branded for the hate from those who discredit the gifts of why we're great and the debate goes on about those with hood clothes on to associate them with being great that we must be wrong because to them we're nothing, just animals scruffling on the street corners in our blackness struggling, not realizing the categorizing has contributed to my brothers and sisters out here dying. Knowing them boys be lying and them suits be lying for them while our mothers are crying and out here mourning for them. Mourning for the babies, bewildered by the crazies, hitting home after home, even claiming our young ladies. And my heart breaks for us, beg a pardon for us. Because the road that we travel has always been rough and it comes to a stage where enough is enough. Now it's them against us. There's no trust. There's no trust. Don't feel safe when I see them. Look away when I see them. And I know that not all of them rock on the wrong side. Some abide by moral code and respect all lives. But when it comes down to being down on the black hand side, no matter you minding your business or your black pride, your ass is knocked down on the ground on your backside or you're shot in the back running to save your life or in the chest despite sleeping in at night in a seven year old's body and we still ask why. So what's the solution for all the confusion? Can we come together or is that an illusion? Went from paddy roller to the blue fitted patroller, but the upgrade didn't change a damn thing over. Since we touched ground here from over the waters, witnessing the murders through to the new world order. Them boys are coming, hide your son, hide your daughter. You ain't got no freedom. Barack set the leaving, lambs to the slaughter. Fuck your protest, unrest, and supporters. Shit just got real, look at PD scoreboard. The red, white, and blues, flag swinging, gun slinging, justice or genocide, which one do you believe in? Ooh, wow. Lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> this is called Nope, Not This Time. Okay. Your dick's not gonna make it better this time. 
You're not gonna use that old trick to make me forget your bullshit. I don't care how high you make me climb up these walls. I got balls to boo right here on my chest. And then when it comes to the stuff, when it comes to the stats of who's doing it best, let's put that shy rack move to the test. I'll bring that bitch out of you without you rocking a dress. Don't mess with my pussy prowess. You know what it is. There's been plenty of times I've made you my bitch too. Yes, you, boo, you. You know me enough to know what makes me mad. Pretending like you can't read me and I think that's bad because we got years and we're doing our bit. So for you to think that it simply takes your dick to address this is ridiculous, baby. <laughs> a grown ass lady your dick is simply the cherry to the fix are you fucking crazy <laughs> the fuck you think this is now it's good you know your dick is good you see me tremble and quiver shake and shiver you deliver that stroke till i feel it in my liver but damn sir the answer won't be in a nut you think it'd be found if I just shut the fuck up and pretend everything is a win like you, but I can't live like that. Cause when you, when you sweep under the rug, your ass falls flat on your face. The lips on my pussy will not replace the conversation we're supposed to be having about your kind. Your dick's not gonna make it better this time. You gonna have to talk to me. That thing you men folks hate, you gonna have to listen to me. Combine the two and communicate, and once we smooth the edges, it would be so great to consummate. But to insult me by using your dingling as bait, come on, babe, now I'm gonna have to set you straight. <laughs> See, I'm a woman and we don't forget shit, so for the audacity of you to think that you'd be using your dick to make it all disappear, let me make this clear. Clean the sugar daddy out your ear because this chick here gonna put this on the rewind and put this in the back in the front of your mind. I love you and I love your dick and as super superb and supreme as it is, is irrelevant. And you're gonna have to address your crime. Your dick's not gonna make it better this time. <laughs> This one is called looking for someone to relate to. I be looking for somebody to speak on it, to be real with it, to say that they lived it, this ill shit, the hood mama's experience, but I have yet to read about it. So I took a seed and plowed the dirt in Harlem section of earth. A queen by design who stood in welfare lines and dined in cafeterias in the Big Apple's most rotten of shelters. Ran the hamster wheel in the begin program for a beginning they offer with menial tasks like folding sweaters or sweeping leaves choked from CO2 lace smoke to receive the joke that is cash assistance. The resistance between my moral fiber and the almighty dollar holla obscenities at each other. Being branded father and mother, stranded in parenthood by your lover and all you know is you got kids to feed. So you can either sweep those leaves, fold them sweaters, eat that bullshit they serve in them shelters, try with all your might to get your shit together and as always there's a change in the weather. There's storms and eviction forms, relatives kicking me out, my son running about, my daughter's wanting their daddy and all I want is just for everyone to be happy. Just a home of my own. And let me be the first to deny you alone. I want to work for mine. And because I'm a queen by design, I can't let money define how I get. Because despite how you think I'm living, there's just some shit I won't do. Wrestling with issues, tear-stained tissues, at some point you stop crying. You want to stop trying, but there's no denying you got kids to feed. So you leave them tears and those tissues and those issues on the floor and the bullshit at the door and go at it once more, grab at it once more. That star, however far it may be, was made for me, made in me, made in my three, and we gonna be all right. And flight and our light, cause mama gonna continue to fight till I get it, manifest till I live it, the dream till I give it to my babies in this crazy world. Tired of walking on eggshells with my toes curled. It's time to screw them over. Let them know I'm here. Look fear in the eyes and demand rebirth, not restoration, but renewal. Dust off my jewel. 
show them God's glory because my story is far from over. Flicked out about like it's a chip on my shoulder and keep it moving. Keep proving to myself that when I don't think I got nobody else, God loves me. Because when it gets ugly, he shows up so lovely. And sometimes you need that revelation because there's been many situations where God is all you got. And knowing that I don't stop. And knowing that there's just some things I will not do. And don't have to. Broke free from the shackles of the system. Let them tell that I'm a victim. But I don't dare listen. I can't be the worm when I'm fishing. Can't be the star if I'm wishing. Only God knows my mission. And I believe that I'm going to give him what he wants. Hope that the yearning haunts me. Hope that the desire taunts me until I get it back. And it's working because it interrupts my sleep at night. Because hood mama fights. Hood mama's a soldier. The average bitch ain't built for the takeover. The only alteration I seek for the makeover is a new residence with the success of my children as evidence for my flight away from the stereotype. Although they'd like me boxed into a category like that stops the height of my ascension, like I said, only God knows my mission. Can't be the worm if I'm fishing. Can't be the star if I'm wishing. Even if nobody listens, somebody out there can relate, damn it. <laughs>